Hello, this is Kristen. Thank you for joining me. Our theme today is balance. We'll be in in child's pose, so spread your knees wide, big toes to touch, and sink down with your buttocks on your heels. Arms out in front, lengthening through the side of the body. Balance is a state of being where we find centering within ourselves. Amid chaos, we can drop into our internal reservoir of peace and stability that resides within all of us. We can learn to slow down in our busy lives and become more aware of each moment as it arises and then passes. Come up onto your hands and knees. Be mindful of any knee injuries. Place a pad or a towel underneath your knees. And we'll start flowing through cat and cow. Inhale and drop the belly to the ground. Lift your chest forward. Shoot your sit bones to the sky. Exhale, push through your palms and round the upper back and let your head fall down. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, grounding down through the hands. Exhale, cow pose. You can do some barrel rolls with the breath to get into the side body. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Exhale to the right, inhale to the left. You may be stiff or crackly, and that's okay. Do whatever feels nice here. Move around into your shoulders and your hips and the side body. Get into any crevices. Let your face be soft, your jaw soft. On the inhale, come back to a tabletop with a flat back. Inhale, lift your left leg and your right arm to come into spinal balance pose. Your gaze is slightly forward. You're not crunching through the neck. Rooting down through the left palm. Exhale, bring knee to elbow. Inhale, arm and leg back out. Exhale, knee to elbow rounding through the back. Inhale, arms and legs out wide. Energy shooting through your fingertips and toes. One more time, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, leg and arm out wide. Exhale, release down to the ground, tabletop. Inhale, right leg up and left arm up, shooting energy out of the back right heel and left fingertips, grounding down to the right hand. Hips are square, the neck and the spine are long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Maybe you find a slight back bend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Grounding down through the hand. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up and back into downward facing dog. Shoot your sit bones to the sky. Come up on your tippy toes. Find lengthening through the spine. Ground down through your hands. Push into your pointer finger and your thumbs. Hands are shoulder width apart. Feet are hip width apart. Let your torso drop down to your thighs. Big inhale. Exhale. Pedal your feet out. Get a big stretch in the back of the thighs and in the calves, maybe even your shoulders. Engage your ujjayi pranayama, audible breath in and out through the nose. Lengthen through the neck, maybe shake your head, yes and no. Push your shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Let the hip come open. Inhale, exhale, and shoot your right foot through to the top of the mat in between your palms. Left foot meets right at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, forward fold over your legs. Feet are hip width distance apart, knees are slightly bent, and your torso is resting on your knees. Grab opposite elbows into ragtail position and drape over your legs. Sway from side to side, shake your head yes and no. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine and the neck. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, windmill your arms up to the sky into mountain pose. Scoop your tailbone under, shine your chest forward. Energy coming out of the crown of the head. Take your right hand and clasp your left wrist and lean over to the right, finding a deep stretch in the left side of the body. Inhale, come up to standing. Switch and take your left palm and grab onto your right wrist. Exhale, lean to the left, find a deep stretch in the right side of the body. Take an inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale, maybe find a back bend. Exhale, flat back, hinge at your hips and fold over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold, and shoot your legs back into chaturanga. High push-up to low push-up, upward facing dog. Stay here for a second. Breathe into your lower back. Your shoulders are stacked directly over your palms. Take another deep inhale, and as you exhale, use your core and pelvic muscles to lift you up and back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Maybe your heels can come down a little bit more towards the mat, sending your sit bones up to the sky. Let your neck fall down, rooting through your hands. Spread your feet a little bit wide open. Put your left palm towards the center of the mat and then take your right hand and reach towards your left ankle or shin and grab hold. Your gaze can be a little bit to the left. Inhale, release your right hand and switch sides. Your right hand is now in the middle of the mat and your left hand comes reaching down through to grab hold to the outside of the right ankle or shin and your gaze is out towards the right. Exhale, release. Hands back to normal, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, send the right leg through. Foot plants in between the palms. Ground your left heel down to the ground and prepare for a warrior one. Inhale, lift your torso and chest and arms up towards the sky. Gazes towards the sky. Feel a deep stretch in the left hip flexor. Right knee is bent at about a 90 degree angle. The right knee is stacked over the right ankle or a little bit behind the right ankle. Try and square your hips to the front of the mat. Exhale and let your left arm drop towards the back of the mat. And your hips are also facing the left side of the mat. Deep in the lunge in your right knee, stacking the knee over the ankle. Inhale, let your left hand drop towards your left thigh or shin. Place your left hand on the leg. Reach your right arm up and over to reverse your warrior. Exhale, come back to warrior two and keep sending your left arm up and over to the right side. Maybe place your right elbow on your right knee into extended side angle or right palm can come to the ground. Open your chest up, take your gaze forward or maybe up to the sky. Maybe find a bind, take your left arm around and hook your left palm into the crease of your right hip. Root down through the edge of the left foot and shine your heart forward. Inhale, release the left palm from the bind. Place on your left hip. Inhale, come up to warrior two. 
Push your shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Begin to shift your hips a little bit to the left and reach towards the front of the mat. Triangle pose. Plant your hand on a shin, ankle, block, or bolster. Lift your left arm up towards the sky. Gaze can be forward or towards the sky. Putting equal pressure into both of your feet. Try not to collapse through the chest or the torso. Really lengthen through the spine and the neck. Inhale, bring your gaze back down to the ground. Start to shift your weight into your right foot. Bend your knee and take flight. Lift your left foot off the ground. Half moon pose on the left side. Send energy out of your left heel. Plant your right palm about eight to 12 inches in front of you. Your right palm can be placed on the ground, a bolster, a block. It's okay if you stumble here. I obviously had a long day and was having a hard time focusing. My balance was off, but that's okay. Just have to keep trying again. Your gaze can be towards the ground, forward, or up towards your hand. Left hand can be at the hip or up towards the sky. Roll your hips open. Feel a line of energy from the crown of the head coming out of the left heel. You're a glass pane in between two cement walls. Plant down to the four corners of the right foot. Inhale, look down to the ground. Exhale, plant both hands on the ground. Sink deeper into a standing split. Breathe through the stretch here. Maybe lift your left foot a little bit higher towards the sky. Ujjayi Pranayama. Slowly start to bring your left foot down. Your torso st starts to come up. And you start coming through warrior three, hands at heart center. Your left leg is slowly coming up and through. And then once you're standing, you're balancing on your right foot, wrap your left leg around your right and come into eagle pose. Wrap your right arm around your left arm and hook your right hand into your left thumb. Breathing here, finding a deep stretch in the upper back. Your left foot can be wrapped around your right calf or it can be placed on the ground or on a block or a bolster for balance. It's okay if you stumble. Maybe start to fold over at the hips and have your elbows meet your knees. Slowly breathing here. And then on an inhale, come back up and release your legs and your arms. Take a big deep breath in, sweep your arms towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, chaturanga. High push up, low push up, upward facing dog downward facing dog. Push your heels towards the ground. Maybe they're touching the ground now. Or you can come up on your tippy toes and find a deep stretch in the hips. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, sweep it through, plant your left foot in between your palms. Roll your right heel to the ground, warrior one on the right side. Inhale, lift your torso and chest and arms up to the sky. Gaze is upward. Deep inhale and then exhale, warrior two on the right side. The edge of your right foot is rooted down into the ground. Your left knee is at a 90 degree angle. Left knee stacked over the left ankle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm sweeps up towards the sky and a deep stretch in the left side. Exhale, come back and through warrior two into extended side angle. Put your left forearm on the knee or your hand to the ground. Your right arm is up towards the sky or to your right hip. You can even find a bind here. You can bring your right arm around and hook your right palm into the crease of your left hip. Peel open your right shoulder and open up through the chest. Gaze can be forward or up 
towards your right shoulder. Root down through the edge of your right foot. On an inhale, bring your gaze back down to the floor. Let your bind go. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Start making your way into triangle pose. Inhale, straighten your left knee. Reach your left palm towards the front of the room and send your hips back to the right. And then place your left palm on a shin, ankle, block, bolster, or mat. Be mindful not to collapse through the chest. Inhale, gaze back down to the ground. Right hand knees left at the ground. Place your palms on the ground and push off the ground with your right foot and take flight into half moon. Ground down to the four corners of your left foot. Place your palm eight to 12 inches in front of you. Don't collapse through the chest or the torso. Your right leg is strong and there's energy coming out of your right heel. Your hand can be on a block, bolster, or the mat. Your right arm goes up to the sky or to the right hip and your gaze goes up towards the right fingertips. Bring your right arm back down and place it on the mat and lean over into standing split. Find a deep stretch in the left hamstring. Let your head fall over and your right leg shoots up to the sky. On an inhale, slowly, hands come to heart center. Start making your way to standing, balancing on your left foot. And bring your right leg up and over your left leg into eagle pose. Your right foot can hook over your left calf. And then bring your arms out wide and bring your left arm over your right arm and twist it around it into eagle arms. Your left palm hooks onto your right thumb. A deep stretch in the upper back here. You could even bend your elbows down, elbows touch knees, and then carefully come back up and release completely. Unwind your legs and unwind your arms. We finally made it. I know I struggled through that. Inhale, windmill, arms to the sky, gaze to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold over completely, standing forward fold, hands to the ground. Breathe here. Big toes to touch. Heels are slightly apart. Bend the knees. We'll come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Inhale, torso, chest, and arms up towards the sky. Scoop your tailbone under and open your chest up. Sit back into your heels and shine out through the chest. Another really big inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, release forward fold over your legs. Feet come to hip width distance apart. Hands come to elbows, ragdoll pose. Drape over your legs. Move side to side, shake your head yes and no. Inhale, hands come to the ground. Exhale, keep the legs back into high plank, chaturanga. High push up, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale and exhale, audible sigh out through the mouth. Gently come to your knees, tabletop. Sink your hips back, bring your feet forward. We'll come to a seated position with your legs straight out in front of you. Bend your right knee, place your right foot on the left side of your left leg. Place your right hand behind you. Take your left hand or elbow and hook it onto your right knee and find a twist to the right side. Twist from the core, not your hips or your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen the twist. Start to let go of your left hand, come back to center. We will do twist on the left side. Right leg comes back down to the mat. Left leg bends and comes over your right leg. Your left arm goes behind you. Your right elbow or hand hooks on to your left knee and helps leverage you in the twist. Twist from the core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen the twist. Gazes out towards the left. Your eyes can even be looking towards the left. Release the twist, left leg comes back down to the ground. 
both legs straight. We will come to a seated forward fold. Move the flesh away from your sit bones. Lengthen through the spine and the crown of the head. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hinge at the hips, flat back, forward fold over the legs. Hands can come to thighs, knees, shins, ankles, or peace fingers can come around your big toes. Find lengthening on the inhale, and then exhale, drape your body over your legs to find a deep stretch in the hamstrings. Your arms and legs are still activated. If your peace fingers are on your big toes, you can pull forward to deepen the stretch. Inhale, come up flat back, lengthen to the spine. Bound angle pose. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, knees bent. Inhale, lengthen through the chest, the spine, the crown of the head. Exhale, wrap your hands around your toes and fold over your legs. Let your upper body drape over your legs. Arms and legs are still active. Arms are engaged and pulling forward. Lengthen through the spine, drape your head over. Deep breathing here. Breathe into your tight zones. Envision a ball of light expanding on the inhale and contracting on the exhale, letting go of all of the excess stuff. On an inhale, slowly come back up with a flat back. Shoot your legs out in front of you. We'll come down to our back, bridge pose. Bend your knees, soles of the feet are on the ground. Bring your heels up to your glutes, arms are by your sides. Inhale and begin to shoot your hips up towards the sky. Feet are hip width distance apart. Your knees are hip width distance apart, not splaying out or collapsing in towards each other. Roll your shoulders under, maybe your hands clasp under your sacrum. If not, that's okay. Shine out through the chest. Exhale, slowly release, touching each vertebrae to the ground. Bring your knees into the chest. Give yourself a bear hug. Roll back and forth and massage your kidneys and your back muscles. Bring your feet back down to the ground, knees bent. If it is in your practice, we will do a wheel pose today. If not, you can do another bridge pose or another pose that feels nice to you. So bring your hands back, place them on the ground next to your head. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Inhale, and on the exhale, push up into wheel pose. Push down into the four corners of your feet. Hands are engaged, pushing down into the ground. Shine through the chest. On the exhale, release extremely slowly, touching each vertebrae to the ground. Arms first, hips, and then glutes. Flat back on the ground, bring your knees back to the chest, and a nice counter stretch in the back. You can roll from side to side to massage out your lower back. Check in with the body. Come back to your breath if your thoughts are wandering. Place the feet on the ground, wipe away any sweat or cat hair that's bothering you. And we will come into a shoulder stand. When you're ready, engage the core and raise the legs vertical, peeling the back away from the floor to bring the hips over the shoulders. Place the hands on either the side of the waist below the rib cage and lift up through the torso, pointing the toes towards the sky. Shoulder stand is an inversion. The full weight of the body is on the shoulders. Be mindful of the neck. Root the shoulders down to the ground. Make your way into plow pose. Mindfully start to bring your legs back behind your head. Hands on the back for support. Your toes come to the ground. Use leverage on the ground to stretch through the neck, the back, and the hamstrings. 
let your knees drop towards the temples of your face so your knees are wide, framing your face. Bring your hands to your back for support and slowly, gently, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll out of plow pose onto a flat back laying on your back. On your back, take peace fingers to big toes, spread your knees and legs, and sink open and down into happy baby pose. Flat back to the ground, deep stretch in the inner thighs. You can roll from side to side and massage your kidneys and back muscles. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, resting on the ground. Right hand comes to the belly and left hand comes to the heart. Allow your hands to rest lightly on your body and simply observe the rise and fall of your breath. The practice of balance stops us from rushing from task to task so we can learn to enjoy each moment as is. Bring your arms by your sides and palms up towards the sky. Straighten your legs. Let your feet fall open to the sides naturally. You will come to your final resting place, Shavasana. Allow your shoulders to relax down the mat. Soften the muscles in your face. Scoop your tailbone under. Close your eyes. Let go of the deep inhalations and exhalations and just let your breath go naturally. Release the tension in your face and your jaw. With every exhale, release. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Come back into the body. Take a deep inhale. Arms overhead, big stretch through the entire body. Bring your knees in, roll over to the right side, fetal position. Eyes are still closed. Take your time. Push down into your hands, come into a seated position in the front of your mat, eyes closed, face soft. Balance teaches us how indulgence can lead to imbalance and why moderation provides us an avenue toward personal fulfillment. Through balance, we also gain clarity to let go of things that no longer serve our higher purpose. 
off the mat, this strengthens the balance in our minds and souls, ultimately leading to more peace in every facet of our lives. I'll come to a close with a quote by Rumi. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Bring palms to touch at heart center to seal in your practice. Bow forward. Namaste.